What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back, man. Welcome to Home Nuts Podcast, where I know you're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops. I know you're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You are in the right place. Without further ado, let's get into this video, man. God's eye view. That's right, a God's eye view. Now, I know you guys have heard the term bird's eye view and if you've been to any number of sporting events we all know that a bird's eye view that view is better it costs more than if you have a really really up close experience to the action in that sporting event bird view allows you to see things that you wouldn't be able to see if you were really really close to the action so when it comes to relationships and our interaction with women, we want to have a God's eye view, not a up close eye view, right? You want to really be able to sit back and look upon what's going on and see what's really happening today in this perverse generation we're living in. Because I'm telling you guys. These times are unprecedented. There is an attack on women and this attack on women has led to an attack on men. And that attack on men has led to an attack on solid, firm relationships. And you have to have the patience, the discernment and the ability not to give into the peer pressure, not to give into the societal norms when it comes to the opposite sex. Because if you don't, the verses in Proverbs 31 verses one through three will be true for you. Right. So you have to really have your discipline in check. You have to be retaining. You have to be building yourself up because like I told you guys before, if you retain and you go on these nice streaks where you're retaining your energy and you're staying focused on your goals, your objectives, your vision, you will be able to pick the type of woman you want to be with. Trust me. You will be able to pick because they will not be able to resist the pheromones. They will not be able to resist that attraction that you will be giving off because you're retaining your seed. Now, what happens when you retain your seed? This is just a little review. Your confidence goes up. Your testosterone goes up. Your mental clarity goes up. Your voice is going to get a little deeper. You're going to have a glow and you're going to have a natural smoothness. When you actually talk and engage with the opposite sex and all of these things are attractive. On the other hand, if you give in to the societal norms and you're OK with women doing the things that they're doing now, I've seen guys on YouTube say that, you know, I don't I don't mind if my girl does only fans. As long as I get a piece of the action, as long as I, you know, get the whole of the camera, as long as I get 80 percent of the cut. Right. You have to really understand what the man is saying. He's saying this is his woman. And he's willing to put her out there. And prostitute her and support her. Why is this? It's because this is the type of agenda. This is the type of information. This is the type of scheme and plan that has been unleashed. Right. And he has adopted and he has bought into this view of women. And he thinks in his mind that this is the best that he can get. Now, you got to ask yourself this question, guys. If you have a nice girl, right? She's a good looking woman. 
and she wants to put herself out there. She's convincing you that there's nothing wrong with it. And you buy into it and you agree to it. What are you saying about yourself? The one thing that you're not saying is this, is that you can go out and get another nice girl who has different values. See, what society is doing is they're making you believe because of the influx of videos that you see on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, Facebook. They're making you think that this is how every woman is. And I'm here to tell you, every woman is not like that. Every woman does not seek the validation of random strangers. Virtually. Every woman is not like that. Right? And what you have to understand is this. If you come, to, if you come into agreement with your woman doing this and you're, and you're trying to be the cool guy. Oh, I don't care as long as I get a cut. You know, that's cool with me, blah, blah, blah. And you're trying to be a cool guy. But at the end of the day, you're really just looking like a A double S. You can't be surprised when that woman goes out and she seeks the validation of someone else. You can't be surprised when that relationship deteriorates because you forsook the true values. This is what you have to understand about relationships. If there is love, there is jealousy. That's a fact. For, throw out this notion that jealousy is not good for relationships. That's insane. We're not talking about being jealous or envious of friends and people around you. We're talking about a healthy jealousy for your girl. How could you be a man? How could you be a real man? And you had no jealousy for your main squeeze. You just let any any guy look at her and you just let her go out and live her life and be half naked and go everywhere and do all these type of things. And you're OK with that because you have accepted societal norms. You've forsaken the God's eye view. And you have this up close and personal viewpoint to where you're not able to see the big picture. Right. And you wonder why this relationship is not going to go the way it's supposed to go. Because one, you have devalued yourself. You have devalued yourself. You have accepted the lie that you can't get another chick who's pleasing to your eye, to your liking, that has the values that you share. You're giving in to the pressure. Let those lames go out and do that. Let those lames go out and pay $40 for some toes. Let those lames go out to watch a woman eat a banana. <laughs> hey, listen, these dudes are paying for women to eat bananas. I'm serious, bro. I had this one chick send me a video, not a video, a picture. This is a while ago. She, she was eating a banana. And I said to myself, I just knew. I just knew she for the streets. She's for the streets. I knew it. I knew it. Who in their right mind would take a picture eating a banana? What would possess you to do that? And then put it out for public consumption. These people are lost. They're deceived. They're soulless women. And when I say soulless, I don't mean in the literal sense. I'm just saying they're lost. When it comes to relationships, stand firm on the principles of what that is supposed to look like. Right. The masculine and the feminine energy colliding, a true, healthy jealousy that a man has 
for his woman that will cause him to kill for her, that will cause him to die for her. You can't die for your chick, bro, if you let everybody look at your chick in return and in exchange for money. How you going to die for? You, you, won't, you don't have it in you. No real man would support that. And here's where the women, they don't get it. Every man, there's going to be a woman. That he's going to come across where he's going to say, nah, that's not acceptable. You got these, these swingers like you see these these people in relationships, man, and they're swinging. So they go to these little hookups. Right. And they'll they'll just put their wife out there and, and, and the wife will just put her husband out there. Right. And then they'll just do really disgusting things. And you really think that that person who's willing to put you out there in that environment with random strangers, you really think they have a true, authentic love for you. Like you have to be stupid. You have to be like you have to have like the IQ of a beetle bug. Guys, pay attention. Do not have an up close and personal eye view. Let your vision be peripheral. Have a God's eye view. See things through his lens. It's better to wait and be patient and get the woman who's going to be aligned with your values than to give in to societal, societal norms and compromise and get you an HO3. And when you get the HO3, bro, it's downhill from there. It is downhill. It's downhill. I'm trying to tell you. Retain. Build up that sexual energy. Build it up. And you will have women flocking to you. And if you have discernment. And you're not hasty in your decision making as far as picking the woman you want to get to know and be with because you feel like she ex she exemplifies what you're looking for. You're going to be able to get the girl you want, bro. And she's going to respect you. Right. She's going to respect you. There's no respect for girls on the Internet. They get no respect. They get temporary validation but they get no respect they get no authentic love and whatever they're getting is not lasting please understand this guys you have to have a god's eye view if you don't you will pay the price and it's a handsome price to pay Listen, man, this is hold my nuts. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace.